Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Today, I am going to address a lot of questions I'm sure a lot of people have. Where is the A12 jailbreak? Is there ever going to be a second jailbreak for newer iOS 12 versions, like iOS 12.1.3 and above this year before iOS 13 comes out? We're of course going to be going over the latest updates pertaining to the Uncover jailbreak in its current state. And then I'm also going to talk about some rumors regarding an Electra jailbreak for iOS 12. So we have a lot to discuss in this video. Let's get into things. So to start off, definitely like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated with the latest Apple and jailbreaking news. And again, if you guys want to be updated when the very first A12 jailbreak is released, definitely bookmark our A12 jailbreak status checker page. All right, so let's go ahead and start this video off talking about some of the latest rumors regarding an Electra jailbreak for iOS 12. Yes, Coolstar and the Electra jailbreak teams are back in the center of the action, potentially going to be releasing an A12 jailbreak for iOS 12 to 12.1.2. Now, if you guys are wondering why this is the case all of a sudden, well, we talked about this in my last video, so definitely check that out for more information. But essentially, the gist is Cydia and Cydia Substrate is no longer going to be updated or maintained by Sorik, and that is what the Uncovered Jailbreak entirely relied upon. So henceforth, going forward, Jailbreak developers are going to have to use an alternative route for tweak injection, most likely going to be using Substitute. Now, Substitute is what both of the iOS 11 Electra Jailbreak utilities ran on, but some users ran into some stability and performance issues, especially regarding battery life. That's why last year when the Uncovered Jailbreak was released, that was its big feature point, is that it used official substrate, which is supposedly a lot more stable. Anyway, now that that is no longer an option, both Pwn and Coolstar are going to have to use Substitute, either the open source version or a private fork that either team has developed. Anyway, if you guys want more information about this, like I said, definitely check out the last video regarding Sorik's departure from the jailbreak community. Anyway, let's get into the latest and greatest breaking news that just happened yesterday. I wanted to get a video out on this, but I unfortunately just didn't have time. That is why we're discussing it this morning. Anyways, heading to Twitter. This is the news. Coolstar tweeted out this. He says, A12 on iOS 12 to 12.1.2 is good game. Easy. He says, there's just bug fixes now. So that pretty much sums things up in one tweet, that the A12 jailbreak is pretty much all good to go and is entirely ready aside from a few bug fixes that the team has to fix before releasing a public version of Electra for iOS 12 to the jailbreak community. Now, the great thing about this is he includes A12 support, and it sounds like that is going to be available on launch. I'm curious if you guys are going to jump ship and go to Electra if it works on A12, or if you guys are still going to wait for the Uncover release on A12 devices. Anyway, we will definitely be covering both jailbreak utilities, as now it's pretty easy to switch between the two with the utility Snapback. And again, if you guys want to learn how to switch between different jailbreak setups, there's also a video about that as well. That one's super sweet. We'll link it down below too. Anyway, as far as iOS 12 to 12.1.2 is concerned, an A12 jailbreak is definitely coming still. It has definitely been delayed quite a bit longer than everyone was anticipating, but guys, the wait will be worth it, as now we once again have two jailbreak teams working on its development. Which one will come out first, or when will it come out? No one really knows, but it is in the works. It definitely is going to be coming out, so definitely stay tuned for more updates on its official release. Now, just to clarify things a little bit, not blow this out of proportion, it doesn't sound like Electra for iOS 12 with A12 support is going to be coming in a day or two. It definitely still is a few weeks out, and that was clarified by one of the Electra Jailbreak team members saying, I've seen a lot of absurd ETAs come up since this tweet was posted regarding Coolstar's tweet. 
He says to clarify, this means that we're not writing any more new components for A12 support. We're going to test, debug, and fix what we have. It will take some time. Anyway, that's all the rumors regarding Electra for iOS 12 with A12 support regarding its release date, at least. The other big thing that I kind of wanted to talk about, and I can't really find the tweet for this, but it sounds like the Electra jailbreak is going to forego using Cydia entirely and only ship with Cilio, or Cilio, whatever it's called, regardless of their package installer that they've been working on for about a year. Now, I kind of have mixed feelings about this, but regardless, your jailbreak experience really isn't going to change. All of your tweaks are still going to work and be able to be installed. The only difference here is what the actual package installer is going to look like. And realistically, if Cilio functions exactly how it is supposed to, and if it works, if it's stable, and if it does the job right, then I really won't have a problem with it of using that over Cydia. But my biggest concern is their new approach on sources and repos. The way tweaks are displayed within the package installer, they're trying to redesign that interface. And by doing that, you basically have to go back and update all of the old tweaks that haven't been touched in months, maybe even years in some cases, to have this new interface and make it look nice. In any case, it sounds like you'll still be able to install every tweak, it just might not be the prettiest interface. Anyway, we'll have to wait and see exactly what Cilio looks like on the Electra 12 jailbreak. I'll definitely be doing some performance tests comparing it to Cydia on installing tweaks and how it actually works and things like that once it comes out. But in any case, I just wanna let you guys know that might be the only option when it comes to the Electra jailbreak. And for those users that have been part of the jailbreak community now for eight to 10 years, and Cydia is all that you know, it's going to be hard to give that up. Even for me, it's definitely going to be hard to have a jailbreak without Cydia and use a third-party package installer. In any case, guys, like I said, I will definitely update you and let you know how that works once it is out. So let's switch gears a little bit and move away from the Electro Jailbreak team. Now let's talk about the Uncovered Jailbreak team and the latest updates from Pwned Own. Well, this tweet right here sums it up pretty well. Uncover version 3.0.1 is now out if you guys missed it. Uncover is also out of beta stages now. The official 3.0.0 as well as 3.0.1 has now been released which is kind of funny to me because this wasn't supposed to happen until A12 support was added, but with all of the drama and everything that happened with Substrate and Soric in my last video and last week, I think Pwn just decided to officially release what he has out of beta stages as yes, the jailbreak is entirely stable for those users on iOS 12 to 12.1.2 with an A7 device through an A10 like the iPhone 10 right here. The jailbreak is perfectly fine um, and we're just waiting for A12 support. Now, along with A12 support, the other great thing that we could be expecting, again, I really don't have a timeline on this, but eventually if all the stars align and if we get the right exploits, the uncovered jailbreak should be easily updated to iOS 12.1.3 12.1.4 and 12.2. Some of the exploits that were used on iOS 12 to 12.1.2 still work in 12.1.3 and 12.1.4, but some of them have already been patched, like the PAC bypass for A12 devices. So for the iPhone 10s, 10s Max, 10R, and the 2018 iPad Pros, for users with those devices, it's going to be even longer for a jailbreak to come out for those devices on iOS 12.1.3 or above. We could probably see something similar in this case where a jailbreak would be released for A7 through A11 devices, but again, that final A12 PAC bypass, that's just yet another patch needed for the jailbreak utility to work and be supported on these newer firmwares. But I guess with this release also, Pwn to Own is also teasing at the fact that if it's possible, he intends to update the jailbreak utility for iOS 12.1.3 and above. He added support for a restart button and more, but it's just the restart button. Just to show you guys with this device right here, this is an iPhone 10R. 
Um, this is the latest build of Uncover. It still says unsupported. You really can't do anything. You can't block OTA updates or anything like that. Really, the only thing that you can do on iOS 12.1.3 or above is go down to the utilities menu and click restart and it says the device will be restarted. You can click OK and we have a official restart button now. Anyway, it's definitely awesome that Pwn is already starting work on iOS 12.1.3 and above, and really it's nothing against him at this point. It's just what the community has available as far as exploits and patches go, and really that's what these jailbreak developers are dependent on. They're not the actual ones that are going and finding exploits or anything like that. They entirely rely on other security research developers to release either exploits or proof of concept projects which again, like I've been saying throughout this video, is what is needed for a new second jailbreak on iOS 12. And realistically, guys, for how long it took the first jailbreak utility to come out for this year on iOS 12, I really don't think we're going to be seeing a second jailbreak utility on iOS 12 before iOS 13 hits beta stages. Now, there definitely could be, don't get me wrong, but with how things have been going, that is just my opinion. Anyway, once iOS 13 hits beta stages, no one's really going to care about an iOS 12 jailbreak anymore and or just not as much, I guess. Um, the focus at that point is going to be iOS 13 jailbreaks, iOS 13 bugs and patches and kernel exploits, and that's just the nature of things. That's not what I hope happens. That's just the reality and matter of fact. Once iOS 13 hits beta stages, that's going to be the main focus. But in any case, like I said, guys, with this new patch, definitely download this if you're already jailbroken. Again, it definitely is a good sign that Pwn is willing and is interested in jailbreaking iOS 12.1.3 and above when it is possible. And again, for current A12 device owners that are on iOS 12 to 12.1.2, definitely download the Uncovered Jailbreak and jailbreak with it because now when you go into the Settings app and you go to General Software Update right here, now it won't be able to check for updates, so your device will not automatically be restarted. And yes, one option is to just download a tvOS beta profile, but sometimes those expire, and this is definitely just the safer way to go about solving this. Anyway guys, I know this was kind of just some filler information to catch everybody up and get everyone on the same page, but I'm super excited to see what the next couple of weeks bring because now the entire focus is on an A12 jailbreak. No, it's not a race to whoever gets the first jailbreak out, but now we have two developers working on this same problem. So guys, I could definitely see some solutions coming out in the next couple of weeks. Anyway, like I said at the beginning of this video, if you guys want to stay updated with the latest jailbreaking and Apple updates, definitely like, comment, and subscribe before you head out. Definitely bookmark our A12 jailbreak status checker page, and definitely leave a comment down below if you guys are stoked to jailbreak your latest devices. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video, but until next time, this is Tony, signing out.